seven. Oh my god. Hey guys, it's us again. Back at it again with another video. And I know guys, alam namin kung bakit kayo napaklik sa video namin. Nakita nyo naman yung title. Nakita nyo naman yung thumbnail. We're gonna be doing... A durability test of the Redmi Note 7. Yes, and why did we decide to do a durability test? Well, syempre, kaya tayo magdo-durability test is magbibili tayo ng gamit, di ba? Hindi naman natin gusto na yung bigla-bigla lang siya masisira, madali masira. Tama ka doon, isa sa mga tinitignan ng mga consumers kapag bumibili ng smartphone like the Redmi Note 7 is kung gaano nga ba sila katibay, kung gaano nagla-last sa kanila yung smartphone kasi not everyone nag upgrade ng smartphone hmm. every year, di ba? Yeah, pero bakit nga ba natin pinili ang Redmi Note 7? Redmi Note 7, guys, this was released, I think, around March or April this year. So, bagong bago pa tong device na to. And actually, it's one of the best devices that you can get under 10,000 pesos. And kaya nandito si Mary, syempre, channel namin to. And second, guys, it's your tech girl, Mary. Siya ang mag explain ng mga specs ng Redmi Note 7. Yes, actually, hindi man kami mag-focus sa specs. Jason's gonna do everything siya, lahat gagawa ng durability test. I'm just mm. here para i-refresh kayo why Redmi Note 7 is one of the best devices you can get under 10,000 pesos. The Redmi Note 7, it has 4,000 mAh battery capacity. Imagine that one and a half days halos pwede mong magamit yung device. And not just that, we get to have a powerful chipset for around like 7,000 pesos to 10,000 pesos. It's made of Corning Gorilla Glass 5. So expect ba natin na matibay siya? We're here to test it out. Yeah, and if you guys remember sa ating main channel video, Mary Bautista, nung ni-review natin ng Redmi Note 7, I did tell you guys na nabagsak ko this exact device. Ito po yun. That's why it's still here with me because of that basag. And hanggang ngayon, meron pa rin siyang line here. Pero it's still working. The reason why nga, meron pa rin ako nito kasi... Ang ganda ng device talaga. Yeah. And ang mura lang niya. And kaya namin na pag-decide na nagawa ng durability test ng Redmi Note 7 is because ito ang pinaka-popular lineup sa mga budget phones ni Redmi or Xiaomi. So bakit nga ba natin ginagawa ang mga durability test? Bakit nga ba? Jason, ikaw ang nagbigay ng idea na to sa akin. Well, syempre, ang mga cellphone ay pinaka-abused pieces of tech na ginagamit natin in our everyday lives. Correct. Syempre, gusto naman natin malaman kung matibay ba talaga sila at kung ano yung kaya nila i-handle. Good point. That's why mainly ang nire-review ko lately or ever since naman are smartphones kasi smartphones, ito ang pinaka-abuse, diba? Kind of tech ever since. And disclaimer lang guys ha, hindi namin ginagawa itong durability test na to just for the views and just for the clout. Ginagawa namin to strictly for educational purposes. So yes, disclaimer lang po, huwag nyong gagayahin sa bahay yung ginagawa namin. Don't do it at home. Let us do it for you. <laughs> so ano nga ba ang gagamitin natin para sa scratch test? We have here some keys, coins, and of course our trusty Swiss Army knife. Kaya natin gagamitin itong mga bagay na to is because ito ang usually na nasa pocket natin. Well, not usually this, but lagi tayo meron susi at lagi tayo meron mga bariya sa ating mga bulsa. Earlier on this video, sinabi ni Mary meron siyang Corning Gorilla Glass 5. So, test natin ngayon kung gano'n talaga siya katibay. Starting off with a coin. Next up, gagamitan natin siya ng suse. Well, for sure, the keys are harder than the coin. But looking closer, there are no visible scratches. Oh, by the way, guys, if iniisip niyo may screen protector siya, wala po. Wala siyang kahit anong protection for using the bare screen itself. As you can see, my knife is not leaving much impressions. Kung akala nyo, ang harap lang yung scratches natin, nagkakamali kayo. Siyempre, may mga gilid ng phone, meron din siyang likod, may camera pa siya, at meron din top. So you can see here, ang speaker grill niya ay fully intact. Hindi siya magal... Hindi siya matanggal na kahit anong pwersa ko. I don't know if it's just me or hindi talaga matalim ang ginagamit kong kutsipyo. Either that or matibay talaga siya. Guys, nakikita nyo naman na hindi talaga siya metal, pero isa siyang painted plastic. Painted to look metallic.
Now let's go sa volume rocker niya and dito sa power button. Let's see what it's made of. <gasps> Guys, as you can see, the volume rocker ay hindi masyado matibay. Kasi one slice pa lang ng blade ko, natanggal agad siya. Just like the volume rocker, natanggal din ang power button with just a slice of my knife. And now let's continue scratching the sides. For the bottom, it's still the same painted plastic. We can see here na protectadong protectado ang front facing camera niya from scratches kasi nasa ilalim siya ng Corning Gorilla Glass 5. The top is also made out of the same painted metallic plastic and we can see here we can scratch the IR blaster. Whoa, it has an IR blaster for like 7,000 pesos lang. Yeah, mas maraming features ang mga mas murang phone ngayon kaysa sa mga flagships. Mostly. Yeah. We could also see here na hindi namamarkahan ng blade ko ang fingerprint scanner niya. Meron tayo ditong dual camera setup sa loob ng glass and yung isa dito is 48 megapixels and yung isa is yung 5 megapixel death sensor. It seems like hindi rin nasa scratch ang camera and protected siya sa glass. We also have here the LED flash na protected then under the glass. Guys, huwag kayong magalala kung nahulog yung power button kanina kasi kung nakikita nyo ngayon, nagana pa rin siya. So, why are we doing a bend test? Siyempre, ang mga phones natin nasa pocket lang sila. Na pag naupuan mo, is magbe-bend agad sila pero iba naman ayos lang. Ngayon, malalaman natin kung ang Redmi Note 7 ay kabilang doon. Dalawang beses natin siya ibe-bend. One from the front and one from the back. Simulan na natin. The initial bend from the front is hindi siya nag-flex kahit o paano. Maayos pa ang screen. Wala siyang damage or whatsoever. Pero what if i na natin siya from the back? Well, from the back, meron tayong nakitang major difference. As you can see here, meron na siyang permanent damage dito. At ngayon, hindi na natin siya ma-return. The good thing is, maayos pa ang screen. It's still responsive. It's still responsive. As if nothing happened. Nakita natin may bend na siya dito. Pero what if ayusin natin, di ba? Ayusin natin siya. Ano? From the third bend, meron na siyang major cracks. Meron siya dito. And meron siya... Malapit sa SIM tray. This proves to be a weak point in this phone. Then what about the screen? Well, so far, nagana pa rin siya. But the phone is crooked though. Now what about a fourth and maybe final bend? Let's go. Well, the Redmi Note 7's durability test proved to be impressive. Pinili ni Mary for 7,000 to 8,000 pesos. Pumasa nga ba ang Redmi Note 7 sa durability test na to? Yes. Nag-survive ang phone. Maayos po yung screen. Pero ang major problems lang talaga is natanggal yung volume rocker niya. Yung power button niya natatanggal na rin manually. Meron siyang dalawang cracks dito na seriously damaged the phone. It may have survived the fifth bend but for the killing move kakantohan natin yung Phone, guys. Ang table ni Mary yung nasira, guys, hindi yung phone. Oh my god! <laughs> it's still working, guys. So, really so impressed. I'm really impressed. Sinira ni Jason ang table ko at hindi ang Redmi Note 7. Oh my god! It took six bends, guys. Tingnan nyo, bago natin napatay yung screen. Totally unusable na ang screen ngayon. At saan nagmula yung crack na yun? Dito. Dito sa may power button kung saan siya nagkaroon ng crack nung second bend. So this really proves to be the weak point of this phone. Screen still works, it's still responsive, but seriously, it's annoying to have lines around here. Hindi po to up, guys. 
Sira talaga yung phone na to. <laughs> we finally killed the Redmi Note 7. So Mary, what can you say about the broken Redmi Note 7? Actually, na impressed talaga ako kasi ang akala ko like pangatlong bend sa kanya, masisira agad yung LCD niya. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi, umabot ng pang lima or pang ani. Yeah, for six bends. At nasira pa yung lamesa ko, medyo nagkaroon siya ng dent, kisa yeah. yung Redmi Note 7. <laughs> yung talagang nagkadent, hindi yung Redmi, no? Oo, <laughs> nagulat talaga ako doon. And also, it's not like six times or seven times yung mm -hmm. mauupuan or I don't know, paano ba mangyayari or paano ba magbebend ang smartphone. Mauupuan lang, basically. Probably, yun. Yeah. So it's not like mangyayari yun. So mm -hmm. I really really suggest na lagyan ng... Lagyan natin ng case guys. Any form of protection sa phones is good. And actually guys, we're supposed to do a drop test. Yeah. Pero ano ba? Bakit nga ba, Jason? Well, hindi na natin tinuloy kasi guys, kawawa na yung phone. Hindi, hindi na it's siya so, umabot. Uh, at saka it survived enough. Actually, every time nagagawa kami ng durability test, if you want us to do... Next time, let us know. Comment it down below. Comment down below if you want me to drop Mary's iPhone 11 Pro Max. <laughs> anyway. Next up in this video. video. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys. And it's good to know what your phone is capable of handling before you buy. Yes. At least alam natin kung saan yung weak points niya. And alam rin natin kung talagang dapat natin siyang protectahan. Actually, yeah. we are doing this kind of video kasi na-inspire talaga kami kay Jerry Rig everything. At yeah. hindi lang ako, si Jason ang number one fan ni Jerry Rig. Kahit so, anong ipanong... Siya yung lagi kong pinapanood. Hindi si Marquez ang pinapanood ko. Kung siya si Marquez, ako si Jerry Rig everything. True. So, kahit anong itanong niya sa kanya, at some point masasagot niya. So, sobrang fan niya. Wala siyang pinalagpas na video ni Jerry. And sobrang idol naman siya. So, na-inspire kami. That's why we want to do this you know, durability, durability yeah. test. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Bye. Hindi, hindi lumalapat. Lagyan mo naman ng effort. Nagawa ng force. Hindi.